Hey guys! So as promised, I told you guys I was interested in doing a different type of video series regarding Seattle. Specifically, a Seattle travel guide talking about different aspects of the city uh, from my perspective. I know that being born and raised in Seattle, I have a unique perspective of Seattle because I lived all my life here and I can tell you guys about my experiences from different lights and this video is going to be specifically about my top five favorite Seattle coffee shops other than Starbucks. If you guys know anything about Seattle we can talk about three things. One, it's rainy nine months of the year. Two, traffic is terrible it takes me about an hour and 15 minutes to get to work and three we love coffee probably just as much as we love water it's crazy because we have so many different coffee shops and the biggest coffee shops headquarters starbucks is here in seattle and i feel like if you ever find yourself in seattle i know i like to find coffee shops in new places maybe you will find this helpful hopefully you do don't forget to thumb this video up and let's get this started the first coffee shop i want to talk about is this place called more coffee shop it is located in downtown seattle a little bit north of pike place market this coffee shop is known for two different things latte art and waffles it's a cute coffee shop it's pretty small really cozy but a lot of eclectic art whenever i go it's always busy if you find yourself in seattle it's open monday through friday unfortunately it's not open on the weekends but their coffee art is amazing if you order any of their lattes they have some sort of art on the top of the coffee cup and i've had dogs i've had elephants in this specific visit i had a cute cat and the coffee is a little bit too cute to drink but i drank it because it tasted so good my favorite coffee there um surprisingly is the horchata latte and who would have thought to combine horchata and coffee but Yes, please. Another thing that I would definitely check out is their waffles. They make their waffles in-house right in front of you. They prepare it with the really fresh ingredients. My favorite is the Nutella with banana waffle. It tasted like a dream. The next place I want to talk about is east of the Moore Coffee Shop. It's this place called Union Coffee Shop, and it is tucked away in the Central District area. It has a really cool neighborhood vibe. It's relatively new, surprisingly. Discovered it about a month ago, but I've gone consecutive days in a row because I just loved it so much. The coffee's great, don't get me wrong. The reason why I love this place is because it has such a great environment and atmosphere for just simple working or just reading a book they have tall ceilings with large windows that let in natural light complemented with their white stark motif it just has a really calming vibe for me if you ever go i usually get the cappuccino it was filled with frothy goodness and the black coffee is really good too to talk a little bit more about the atmosphere they have a second floor balcony area that is perfect for working they have individual stations that have outlets for plugs and USB cords for every single seat. The vibe was super neighborhood, but a little bit low-key neighborhood, and it's perfect for if you want something that's low-key, and I would definitely check that out as well. So a little bit west of Union Coffee Shop is this place called Victrola. Back in 2003, they opened exclusively just to roast coffee beans, and since then, they opened their first coffee shop in Capitol Hill on 15th. It's still open as a coffee shop. It has a different type of of neighborhood vibe because it is crowded and hustle bustle there's a lot of people working there whether it is by themselves just kind of reading a book or meeting up with friends if you ever go to their newer location it's on Pike Street that's where they currently roast their coffee beans from my experience the baristas were super friendly and really knowledgeable and passionate about coffee and how to prepare coffee in the process so if you're ever there check it out there are two locations it's awesome the next place I want to talk about, it's this place called Cupcake Royale, and as the name suggests, it is more of a cupcake type of establishment. Not only do they have cupcakes, which they make from scratch daily with fresh and local ingredients, they also have donuts, ice cream, and cookies for sale. I've always said there's nothing better than doing work with a cup of coffee than doing work with a cup of coffee 
and some treats. The location that I usually go to is their Capitol Hill location because it's centrally located, but if you ever find yourselves in the Ballard neighborhood, Madrona neighborhood, West Seattle neighborhood, they also have a location over there, so check that out. But specifically, Capitol Hill location is great for me because the space, they also have the large table ready for people to use. I love having a lot of space when working because it just is easier to move around and it's a lot more convenient. So, the last place I want to talk about, I'm so sorry, I kind of gave you a white lie, but it's not really a lie because it's slightly different. This place is called the Starbucks Reserve Roastery and Tasting Room. If you guys didn't know, Seattle is the headquarters of Starbucks, and while there are so many Starbucks around the world, this one is unique in the sense that they have a different menu of food and drink, and it's almost like an immersive experience for coffee because they not only have coffee, there, but they also roast it right in front of you and they prepare it in several different ways. I've seen them brew the coffee, I've also seen them use a pour over, I've seen them use a siphon to prepare the coffee, and it's just kind of an interesting and unique experience and kind of an education really because they have so much there. It is definitely a tourist attraction. Their food is uh, in collaboration with a really famous Seattle restaurant tour and chef. His name is Tom Douglas. If you guys know him, his restaurants are amazing. The decoration there is really unique. They have a lot of copper brass finishes throughout. It's a beautiful atmosphere and definitely check it out because I think you would really enjoy it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite coffee shops in Seattle. I'm hoping to do more videos like this. I'm thinking about doing my favorite Seattle desserts video and just a lot of different videos to help you guys out when doing your travel. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Definitely share this video, especially to your friends that are going to Seattle. And if they love coffee, it's like a win-win situation. So definitely do that. Leave me a comment down below about what you want to see next. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.